Before we get into the video, I wanted to say I tried using a wire brush on my drill and it worked better than anything I've tried before to remove that adhesive. Hey guys, so I'm out on the boat and we're actually getting it ready to do a two night trip. Lately I've been thinking about our water system and it's not something that we really have the funds to replace right now, but our faucets never really worked. So. I figured why not try to take them apart and see if I can get them running and just to see if we can get some water flowing through and everything and I actually did that with the with the head sink and it worked perfect I, I opened up the the pump I rep or I repaired it and it started working again so this is the galley faucet right here so I'm gonna do it with the galley faucet and show you guys what I did and get it working again so right now there just like really isn't any pressure so it's not drawing any water so I figured it might have to do with something with the, uh, the O-ring or the seal inside, and that's exactly what it was. So I'm gonna use some electrical tape to fix that. Works good, only issue, look at this leak. No leaks. This is the only way to drain the tank. The tank is empty and the next step was going to be to do kind of a deep clean. Uh, it would have involved pouring more bleach than usual in the tank, letting it sit, pumping it out, and then refilling the tank again. But I went on the Clorox website and they basically said on that website that if the water's clear, all you really need to do is put a half a teaspoon of bleach per 10 gallons of water. And that should make it safe to use, to wash, to drink, anything. So we're just going to do that. I'm actually not going to drink it. Randy's not going to drink it. We're just going to use it basically to wash our hands, do some dishes, that kind of stuff. It'll be nice to have it running, running fresh water. So we have a 25 gallon tank and that should call for 1.5 uh, teaspoons. Just gonna throw in two teaspoons just to be safe. Um, and that'll be that. Put new fresh water in there, a little, uh, little bit of bleach, and should have some good water to wash with. All right, that's two tablespoons, or sorry, two teaspoons of regular bleach. I know it's in a half cup measure, but as you can see, it's not full. So I'm just using it for convenience. The next day we set out on our three day, two night cruise from Tampa through the Tampa Bay out into the Gulf of Mexico to visit some sunken tanks that are five miles offshore of St. Petersburg.
first night we anchored in the Tierra Verde area and it was the most calm anchorage we've been to so far. The second day, the plan was to go under the Tierra Verde drawbridge, a first for us as we've never requested a bridge opening before and out five miles into the Gulf of Mexico. Sailing vessel sound the MTU, Pinellas Bayway, Southern East Span Bridge. out to the reef and we realized we didn't have a dive flag well we didn't want to throw away this entire trip by not being able to dive these tanks out here so I made one and this is probably borderline illegal I don't know probably front not probably looked down upon but I think that's pretty obviously a dive flag we might ask some of the boats around here if they have a spare butt dive flag, but if they don't, then we're going to try using this. Unfortunately, I had issues equalizing and I just generally suck at free diving, so I never even saw the tanks that day that were just a mere 35 feet below us. Randy was sick and congested, so she decided not to try. On the bright side, I finally put a zinc on the prop shaft. Can't get our anchor up. Um, we are marking the spot on the GPS. We got basically the boat directly up above it. We've done everything we possibly could. Uh, motoring the boat around, trying to pull it up. Uh, talked to towboat us they said they don't do this kind of stuff that if they if we can't get it up then they basically can't without you know putting a diver down so we have another anchor luckily so we've just got as much of the road out as we possibly can we're marking the spot on the gps we're just going to cut it let it go down and then hopefully come out either tomorrow or next weekend and retrieve it and that's it I asked the I asked the guy at Tobo US. I was like, you know, should I put a put a buoy on it? And he said no, because it won't be here when you get when you come, when you come back for it, because someone else will take it. So, like, all right, whatever. So I'm not gonna put a buoy on. I'm just gonna mark it on the GPS. We'll find it next time we come out. That sucks. Very lucky that we never got rid of that. It's always good to have spare parts on a boat, right? It would have been nice to have a bit more wind, 
we motored or motor sailed the whole three days, but the weather was beautiful for this trip and despite the events that unfolded, we still had a great time and I can't wait to do another. I hope you all enjoyed the video and as I said in the last video we've got somewhat of an announcement and an update to make and I've actually written a script so I'm gonna be reading from that just because it's a lot to say and it's probably the only way I'd be able to get it out in one cohesive thought and be able to say everything I want to say uh, to you guys <laughs> so uh, bear with me and here we go I know in the last video I said I'd have an announcement to make, as there are some things in the works behind the scenes with us. We still haven't made a decision on anything for sure, so forgive me for being a little vague on the update on this, but I wanted to give you all an idea of what the potential future will be for this channel. We've got some decisions to make about my career. In short, I've got an opportunity to take a job that would give us the ability to save more money more quickly so that we can reach our goals of obtaining a liveaboard blue water cruiser to sail the world on. The only issue is that this job might require us to hang up the channel for a bit while we work as hard as we can to earn and save more money. But I want to stress that we won't be gone for good, the goal is still the same, but the path we take may vary. Again, I apologize for being vague, but we don't want to reveal our plans until we've come to a final decision and we also can't rush this, the decision as it will have a major impact on both of our lives. With that, we'll certainly update everyone on what the plan is when we decide and how it will affect the YouTube channel. And that's it. I wanted to thank all supporters. You know, you guys have gotten us this far, and we really wouldn't have been making our 23rd video already if it wasn't for you guys. So thanks again, and see you next week. Thanks for watching guys, as always if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.